How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today we've just got a bit more of a shorter chilled mission after yesterday or in fact <laughs> the last couple of days worth of uh, craziness doing that Star in the Sky mission. Uh, yeah, like I say, this one's a lot easier. It's called Nighttime Delivery and uh, I mean the payout was the best payout you could possibly imagine. It's a free loaf, so <laughs> there's no excuses now. Everyone's got to get themselves a loaf and now I've got a free one. So yeah, I'm starting from the airport which is just kind of where I abandoned everything yesterday when I eventually got the plane and all the uh, bits and bobs to the airport. Like I said, I kind of delivered everything, so I completed the Star in the Sky mission, but then I reloaded the game before it saved. So, currently, I've kind of, the game doesn't know I've completed it yet. But yeah, I'd rather keep those plain pieces sat there, you never know, I might want to uh, pop them on a trailer and go for a little, a little lap of the map. As for this mission though, I'm taking Bruce because it's just been a pretty bloody good truck on this map to be fair. Like this map is definitely very slow, very trollish. Um, having Bruce in this setup with a large crane on it doesn't help in some situations because the legs and that do catch quite a lot. I mean overall, because there's no raised suspension on Bruce, once the tyres are sinking in a bit, you're not too far off like them post reaching the floor. But some people have said, no I want to do it when I've got enough money. I'm probably, well, I'm very likely going to get another Bruce and just have it as like a normal truck setup because, yeah, even though Bruce is, I would say, easily the best truck, uh, the best crane truck in the game, it's also like very good at a lot of other stuff. It's a pretty versatile truck. Obviously, you can have the uh, flat bed or sideboard or whatever on it. Uh, you can tow semi trailers, it can do the saddle high and the saddle low. Uh, you can have the small crane, you've got all like, the maintenance trailer, all sorts of stuff. Like I think this can have just about everything on it. And yeah, because it's got 10 tyres, when it does sink into the terrain a bit, there's a, I just believe the way this game works is like more tyres is more potential grip. I know that's kind of the case in real life, but I think in this game it's quite um, sort of noticeable. But yeah, quite linear in the way it jumps up sort of thing. I mean, squeezing over those uh, rocks there, that's one area where Bruce does struggle a bit because he's got a big massive Bruce chin. And again, no raised suspension. But yeah, all things considered, it, uh, it gets by pretty well on this map because it's definitely a trollish, slow paced map. It's pretty good that they've added those missions in Michigan. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm looking forward to doing them pretty soon because they kind of seem more like my thing where they seem like a lot of different things you've got to source and bring to one spot but yeah it's kind of broken I assume there's gonna be like a quite a bit of very variation to it and you've got to drive to a lot of different places and all sorts so it should be pretty cool uh, yeah I mean this is not too far off the Amanda gateway getting here I was already there with the TUZ or Taz I just I nipped over here to be honest to have a look around and then while I was kind of heading over there I remembered that there was a, a free loaf on this map somewhere and uh, yeah it's about time I can't remember how many loaves I got now I think at least 14, but it might be 15, I can't remember. Still plenty more, plenty more to be bought. At least the missions now are starting to pay out a little bit more. Probably not a fairly small mission like this, but to be honest, um, well, you get a free loaf, so that's at least 11 grand. I'm not sure though, somebody said it might have already have raised suspension and stuff on it. I, To be honest, I didn't recover it to, recover it to the garage, so I didn't actually check, but... I mean, worst case scenario, it's a free loaf, so can't be a bad thing. And yeah, cutting across back here with Bruce. Instead, of like I'd more cut over that rock right in front of me, I think, the first time. This time I'm going to go a little bit more well, to the left as I'm heading back this way. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not sure now or if the loaf's helping me or not. You can hear, though, the winch is stuck on. I didn't realise. You'll see why that becomes apparent in a minute. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, it's kind of auto hoovering in the winch. That's how keen the loaf is to get the job done. So I've got loafs all over this map. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but I was uh, flicking through my list of loafs earlier to come and bring out with me, and uh, yeah, my, my stocks are running low. Rookie numbers, I've got to get them numbers up. So I'm basically, the airport's to my right now, I'm going to cut up this kind of narrow channel up the hill. I suppose uh, this is on the way back to where you can cross that cliff. Which some crazy person in the comments was saying <laughs> they even took the small plane wing back over the cliffs. But I definitely respect it. I didn't want to risk it that much. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Well, I suppose in the end with the small, the small wing and the medium-sized 
piece of our plane. I mean, popped it on Bruce's head and we were good to go. Getting up here, if you ever do head this way with Bruce, you kind of got to swing it across to the right early enough to miss Bruce's chin on that rock to the left. Bump your tyre up on the right and then you can kind of get over it. I've not really helped myself in this situation again though because I have uh, got the crane on and the crane legs are just catching now. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, to do with uh, the loaf being hoovered in by the crane, as you'll see, he was none too impressed by the situation. Started jiggling around through a ten temper tantrum. <laughs> oh, God damn loaf. Tried to kill it all. Note to self. Anal bead loaf doesn't like being anal bead loaf. Went fine. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of distance. Well, it wasn't my fault. He was auto hoovering himself in there. That's what she said. Yeah, I think again you can see to the right I got my crane leg bloody stuck. See, why do you give me them trees? I don't need trees that just pop out of the ground. And to be fair, I think a tree that size, you get some type of decent grip on it <laughs> before you just wrench it out of the ground. It's those skinny little bastard trees that I'd, uh, I really want to be able to nail, and they're the ones that are just immovable. I mean, getting up here, definitely I wouldn't say is Bruce's strong point. However, I still do think if I didn't have a crane on, I would have got up here a lot easier. See? And just get to the point where you just keep auto flinging the winch out, rip all the stupid trees out of the way. Eventually, there'll be one that doesn't move. But yeah, overall, this was like a nice, a nice more chilled mission. I do like the difficult missions, though. I just, I don't know. It's, it's like a tough one to explain. Like on this map, for example, I really like doing the uh, unlocking the garage. I thought that was a pretty cool mission. And some parts of Star in the Sky. <laughs> I thought it was good. I do like the plane as cargo. That's definitely a pretty cool idea. Like I say, I wish I could transport that plane over to like Michigan or something and just take it for a little lap around them maps. Even if I don't have to uh, deliver it anywhere. Like I said as well, I've been playing around. I uh, bought that Freightliner M... whatever it's called. Not the 114 SD, the other one. And uh, yeah, the fixer steering on it is way better. I just, I'm not going to say too much on the truck because I want to do like another review of it. It is definitely, the steering is miles better. Like that now is out the way. It's like you can enjoy or potentially enjoy or at least experience other aspects of the truck. Before it was just, yeah, it was a, just a terrible <laughs> mechanic of the game. Like you try and steer left and it puts a bit of right steering first. was never going to end well. I'm surprised they did it really with that because... Uh, that's the one that's on like the front, I don't know, the case, the case of the game is uh, that Freightliner. Uh, yeah, going through here, as I'm cutting through the middle it was not too bad, but either side of like where there's kind of a cut out road, this is pretty swampy. I believe though, my, um, one of the right hand side crane legs has just been caught, there's like a tree laying in the ground with like the trunk and everything, yeah, I, I basically got caught on that. Again, so I just grabbed a loaf, man. But we're good. This is about the well, one of the only trollish bits. Like I said, this map in general is a troll. Some people seem to love it, some people seem to hate it. To be honest, I like it, but I like it in doses. I still like the faster paced maps as well. But at the same time, yeah, I don't just want a map that's like pure easy mode. Well, it'd be pretty good when they add mods, because one, that opens up a whole host of new trucks or new um, setups for trucks, which is pretty cool. I believe there's also a couple of maps on there, like the Proving Ground maps, that'll be, yeah, pretty nice to check out. So I'm hoping the next uh, update doesn't take as long as, like, the gap between, say, Lake Covd and uh, Imandra. And I think the next region they bring there is Canada. I've not seen any video over anything. I've seen like a thumbnail on someone's video, so and it looked, it looked pretty cool from like the view, the shot they had of it. Um, yeah, when you like basically as you're cutting through that swampy lake bit, as you can see on the map when I just went on it, there's like 
a very narrow looking road that's barely a road where you can see it's, it really isn't a road going up here and kind of looping round or there's another way the other side and it, effectively if you come in here I really wouldn't go this way in the end I put the loaf uh, on top of Bruce just because I didn't want to keep like winching myself up the hill and then turning round to winch the loaf back up etc I was like, I'll just stick the loaf on and then I can use my winch and I'm still moving both vehicles at the same time He's on, he's good, he's got damn horse of a vehicle. Still reminds me of that little car thing we used to uh, mess around with as kids. <laughs> it was funny as well, when I was saying that story the other day about uh, that like red and yellow toy car and my sisters that we used to go flying down the uh, pathway and go flying off the garden. One day, Dave being a Dave, I'll just uh, tell you quickly while I'm driving up this road. Um, yeah, we had a swing set, this swing set must have been, it wasn't easily from like the first third of the 1900s I would say. No health and safety or anything was conceived when this swing set was made. It was just pure, like, 90 degree angle, sharp iron bolted together and that was it. But yeah, this swing set happened to be opposite the uh, kitchen door, about 12 foot away. And we were all taking it in turns to try and jump over this toy car. Again, most of you will know what I mean. It's like a red car with a yellow roof, I think, made of plastic. And most kids in the 90s had some families, <laughs> usually had one of them, you've seen them everywhere. Um, yeah, we were all trying to jump over it, but after a few foot of jumping over it, me and Adam kind of like reasonably thought, yep, <laughs> this is only going to win one way, so we'll uh, we'll stop now. Dave, of course, being a Dave, had to keep going and keep going, and eventually that car was sat... It was... I uh, Yeah, the swing set was opposite the kitchen door, and he put this car thing, like this little, yeah, Fred Flintstone car thing, in the doorway, and was trying to jump through the gap in the door, and uh, it only ended one way, he obviously hit it. He broke his finger. <laughs> he was always breaking stuff when he was a kid. Well, it was one of them, to be honest, half the time you'd be like, is he a hypochondriac? <laughs> so he's always in hospital or something, but he was also one of the people that probably had a reason half the time. He generally broke something. Yeah, that didn't go too well for him. That was a typical day. Typical day in the life of Dave. So, according to the game, this is also a road. <laughs> I mean, we've probably got different definitions of what counts as a road, if I'm honest. looking at that tree like don't you dare do it tree how my crane legs missed I do not know but I'm not going to complain about it I apologise there was a little glitch there always has to do it at the worst moment why couldn't you glitch me <laughs> in the swamp but yeah this road it only glitched probably a trunk a truck length or so ahead but I do apologise for that um, yeah all things considered it actually it doesn't look very road-like, but it was pretty easy to uh, actually drive across and round and everything. There's kind of a little mini cliff edge here. And then again, you'll be able to see the uh, trollish nature of this game and how it likes to make the situation do a 180 pretty quickly. So I've got here, the mission is to deliver a loaf. I'm driving through the square now. I thought it would have said, congratulations, here's a goddamn horse of a vehicle, but... I don't know, apparently the game's got other ideas. So I was kind of looking at the minute thinking, yeah, well, I've, I have done it, haven't I? Reading it, saying deliver the loaf. The only thing I can think, and I'm not 100% on this, but because the loaf is on Bruce and it's raised up off the floor, but I also haven't got a winch attached to it, maybe it wasn't registering, I don't know. Anyway, just my look, tipped over to the side. Uh, when I watched it back, I could see that as I reversed, I kind of bumped one wheel up on the side of that rock that I've tipped over on, so... It wasn't as bad as I first thought. I kind of figured when I was watching it, like, really? <laughs> and Bruce went over pretty goddamn easily then, but... Yeah, it was a bit of a dodgy parking on my part. However, fortunately, because uh, Bruce is loaf trained, I knew the old restore crane trick, which, as you can see, is slowly tipping it over back towards its wheels. It's kind of making the legs of the crane temporarily glitch into the floor, I suppose, and then it's kind of tipping more towards my wheels. I also stuck the crane out to the side just to make absolutely sure I couldn't tip back over to the side. Uh, yeah, got a winch out to that tree and we're good to go. Because one thing I really didn't want to do right now <laughs> was have to drive another vehicle all the way here just to attach a winch to the loaf so it registers for the mission. However, when I uh, got my crane arm out, I attached a winch to the loaf, it like automatically disconnected it and uh, registered it. So I completed the mission, which is pretty good. Got a bit of money, got some XP, got a goddamn horse with a vehicle for free. So uh, yeah, things were looking pretty good. And that's basically it, that was the mission done. I did get a slight little bug though. Uh, I restored the crane and then obviously now that's my loaf, so I tried switching to it.
but for whatever reason, every time I go to change truck, it brings up a message saying, like, I can't switch until I release the winch or the crane or whatever. So, yeah, I started scrolling through the map uh, to find the right loaf. See, got loaves strategically spread all over the map. <laughs> It'd be good if I could name them, so it'd uh, be easy to find the right one. Call this one anal bead loaf. So he smashed himself to pieces because he wasn't happy about it. But anyway, more of a chilled video today. Get yourself a loaf. I hope you've enjoyed, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.